So what we're trying to do is eliminate some of the inconsistencies with different pressurized nozzles that we have. So we're going to a 50 PSI platform for all of our nozzles, which will make fire ground operations safer. We'll have numbers for everything. Um, we'll have pump charts that are made for every rig. Um, it'll just be a lot lighter, more maneuverable line that uh, hopefully everybody will really enjoy. And still put out a lot, a lot of water. Identical to the Elkhart, except for the Elkhart uh, was flowing five more gallons a minute out of it. So overall for reach, breakover, and GPMs, that was, that had the lowest numbers. One hundred fifty-six uh, gallons per minute, a reach of one hundred and three feet, and the breakover point was at fifty-three feet. All right, this is the GFT uh, inch and three quarter seven eighths tip, one hundred fifty-seven gallons per minute. Uh, overall reach is ninety-seven feet, and the breakover point is forty-seven feet. getting lower GPM than we thought we were getting out of these nozzles. Less reach, breakover points. Uh, so with the flow meter taking this unmanned, um, all the nozzles were set up the exact same, exact same angle. It'll take the, uh, the best that we can, taking the human factor out of it. It's not a laboratory. There's some camps in this and uh, we just want to give the information. We're not trying to eliminate one nozzle, you know, from its existence here at District 6. Um, we just want to make the best package for the masses, um, clean some things up with our pump charts, uh, make them more efficient and more user-friendly, um, and just develop a really good package that will work for everybody.